Okay, it is finally time for us to talk about American Idol. I think the bulk of my story is gonna begin the day that I went to audition for the Celebrity Judges. My day started around 4 a.m. and that's when I got up to get ready. I had to be at the Country Music Hall of Fame at 7 a.m. They gave me my number and then we pretty much just sat and waited in the waiting room. I felt like I was gonna pass out all day. I just wanted to get in there and get it over with and know if it was a yes or no, know if I was going to be getting that gold ticket or not. So it was finally my turn. Ryan opened the door for me and I stepped into this giant ballroom inside the Country Music Hall of Fame where Lionel Richie, Katy Perry, and Luke Bryan were all sitting there in the flesh waiting to hear me sing. The first thing that Katie said to me was that she liked my hair, which it was that neon green color at the time. And the first thing I said to her was, it glows in black light. When you step into the room, you know, you step onto your mark, There's this little American Idol sticker on the floor, and you just kind of stand there and wait for your turn to sing. And you just talk to the judges, and they ask you questions, and there are bunches of cameras and just lights on you. It feels hypnotizing. When you walk into the room, you just feel like you're in a daze, like you're in a dream. When it was finally my time to sing, I chose to sing my original song, Monster In Law, and I played it with my guitar Laylee. If you wanna hear Monster In Law, I've actually posted the link in the description below where you can stream it on Spotify. It's also on iTunes, so please go and check it out and be on the lookout for a music video for that very soon. They dug it, they were like, okay, that's cool, that's cool, but they wanted to hear more of my range. They wanted me to just sing something a cappella, so I was like, oh my. So I set my guitar Laylee down on the floor and I performed a little bit of I Put a Spell on You. When I got done with I Put a Spell on You, all three of the judges were just sitting there like this, just with their mouths open, just blinking at me. And I was like, oh my gosh, is this a good thing or a bad thing? Like, did I just bore them to death? Do they like me? Like, it felt like an eternity waiting for them to give me the deliberation. <laughs> it ended up that they were just all stunned. They thought I was a great singer. Lionel also sort of likened me to a modern day Barbra Streisand, which, My mind was blown and my eyes started tearing up and I was just shaking like, are these legends really saying these things to me? Their only qualm with me was that they felt like my look and my sound didn't really mesh. Katie said that I was a juxtaposition and she didn't say it in a mean way, but she said it could be something really interesting and she would be eager to hear me incorporate some of my more like gritty style into my vocal performances. And in my mind, I was just thinking like, you ain't seen nothing yet, Katie. I was hoping to get a chance to show her what I was really made of, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. It was cool too because Katie even stopped and asked me, you know, why do you think it hasn't happened for you yet? You've been pursuing it for this long. I got to really share a lot of my story with them where I got to tell them about my struggles with depression, with being in a not so great manager relationship when I was younger. There were so many elements of my life that came together and created this perfect storm. But while I was talking to them, I ended up saying, you know, in the last year or two, especially since I've discovered this amazing internet community and the power of YouTube and live streaming, it really changed my life. And I got to tell them about how it just gave me this newfound sense of self and of purpose and that I decided that I was gonna get out of my own way and I was gonna chase my dream. After we talked for a while and they heard me sing, they all three said yes and gave me a gold ticket to Hollywood. As soon as they started saying yes, I just started bawling like a baby. It felt like this just insane relief washed over me. It was such a beautiful feeling of accomplishment. Honestly, looking back now, what makes that day and getting the gold ticket so incredibly special is that my dad got to be there. My audition happened one month before he passed away, almost exactly, and the fact that he got to be there for that made it 
so special. I'll never forget how proud he was. And um, before I even auditioned, he put his arm around me so many times and just said, just go in there and do your best. And if it's, if it's a no, it's a no. We're going to love you no matter what. And your family is going to support you no matter what. And I'm going to be proud of you no matter what. I can't sit here and say that meeting the celebrity judges was the coolest thing of that day. I can't sit here and say that getting a gold ticket was the best thing that happened to me that day because it was such a treasure and such a gift that he was there for that and we all got to celebrate together and it just felt like a big win for the whole family. Whew. Obviously, right after he passed, I had the thought, I can't do this. I'm, I don't want to go to Hollywood. I don't want to try. I'm scared of disappointing him somehow. As soon as that thought crossed my mind, I just remember feeling this overwhelming feeling like if my dad were sitting right in front of me, he would just say, no ma'am. You're not not going to go. Not because of this, not because of me. I just heard him in the back of my mind saying, you're going to give it your best. You're going to go and you're going to try. And if it's a no, I'm still going to love you and I'm still going to be proud of you. And I just knew that that's what he would want. I knew he would want me to try. And so just a couple months later, I flew to Hollywood. There were almost 200 of us. I think there were 180 something contestants at Hollywood Week, all of whom were just mind-blowing singers and very kind people who were all very encouraging of one another. It started feeling less and less like a competition and more like a showcase where we're all just cheering each other on. <laughs> and helping each other warm up and sharing our snacks. There just became this camaraderie amongst all of us. They split us up into two different days worth of solo round auditions. So half of the group went the first day, the other half went the second day. And of course the judges made cuts throughout the day on both days. And so I went on the second day. So the first day basically we just sort of hung out. We got to watch other contestants do their solo rounds. We got to be really close to the judges and sort of watch how they deliberated and worked. So it was really cool. As you can imagine, we're all running on fumes. We're all nervous and starting to get less and less sleep. And the song that I chose to perform for my solo round audition was a little snippet of Straight Up by Paul Abdul. And if you follow me on Instagram and you saw the clip of me actually playing and singing Straight Up, it sounded exactly like that except with no guitar. I went out, I sang my song, and then you just walk off stage. Like the judges don't say anything to you at that point. They just kind of look at you and nod and you're like, Okay, I made it through solo round. By the time solo round finally got all wrapped up, it was probably close to like 8 p.m. We all went back to the hotel, went in the ballroom, and the producer's like, it's group round time, here we go. There was a point where I thought, there's no way I'm gonna make it through this. This is so stressful. But I did make it through with the help of my amazing group. So let me tell you about my group at group round. So in the midst of all the group round chaos, I was lucky enough to end up in a group with some of the most incredible singers I've ever heard in my entire life. So there were five of us. Me, Les, Nathan, Anya, and Tippy. Me, Nathan, Anya, and Les had already grouped up and decided that our team name was going to be Green Machine. We named ourselves Green Machine for multiple reasons. Number one, because my hair was neon green. Number two, because Les's last name is green. Number three, because Nathan's favorite color is green. And then number four, because Anya was literally head to toe dressed in green that day. She had like this bomb, smoky green eyeshadow and just, it was incredible. So 
naturally we felt like that was the right team name for us. They gave us, I don't know, maybe like 25 different songs to choose from and we had to go through them all and find one that we all knew. Tippy ran up to our group and was just like, please, please can I join you guys? I don't have a group. And so we were all like, yeah, join the Green Machine. And so the song we ended up choosing to sing was Treasure by Bruno Mars. We spent a couple hours deciding the order of the song and Les actually choreographed a whole dance for us to perform while we were performing the song. And it was the least stressful group situation that's probably ever existed in the history of Idol. I swear, we worked so well together. There was no drama. We were all super encouraging of one another and everything just flowed. It was so fluid. And it was cool too because every single one of us sounded completely different. We had our own signature to our voices and to our performances that we brought to the table. Even though we got along incredibly well and worked perfectly together, we still only got about three hours of sleep that night. The next morning was an early AF call time, maybe like 5.45 a.m. We had to be ready to go. And so we walked over to the theater and my group just started practicing over and over and over and over again. We were just practicing like crazy, trying to make sure that we were getting all the moves right, all the lyrics right. We ended up performing very, very first during group round. We got out there and we did our absolute best, especially the best we could do with the lack of sleep and the nerves. We came out on the stage, busted it out, gave it our all, and ended up getting a standing ovation from all three judges. So that was freaking awesome. Right after we performed, Katie actually gave each of us feedback. I mean, she was so encouraging to all five of us. To me, she said, you know, that I was definitely the most comfortable one on stage and that it was really good, but you know, next time, again, she wanted to hear more of my alternative style translated into my vocal performance. So I was like, I can do that. All five of us felt really confident about making it through to the next round and felt confident for each other. So when it was finally our turn, they pulled us all back out on stage and that is when I was eliminated. But when it comes down to it, I guess you just gotta chalk it up to what the judges are looking for that year and you just gotta roll with the punch, you know? After they delivered the deliberation, my group just huddled around me and they hugged me and they were so sweet. And of course I started crying because, uh, I mean, you know, it's disappointing. What can you do, guys? Either you can let these kind of things just destroy you and make you bitter and angry, or you can just kind of shrug your shoulders, dust your knees off, and get back up and just keep on trying. And so that's what I decided to do. I definitely feel like I made my family proud. I know that I made my dad proud because I got out there and I went for it. I have absolutely zero regrets. My takeaway from the whole experience is A, my dad got to be there for my gold ticket audition. B, I was one of, what, 180 people in the entire nation to get to go to Hollywood. That's insane. That's such an honor. And that's something that I still carry and can be proud of. I got to meet so many amazing singers, many of which are still my friends now that we still keep in touch on, on social media and we still encourage each other. It was just a really great experience that I get to treasure for the rest of my life. American Idol was really cool, but obviously not the end all be all. So now moving forward, I'm not gonna give up. I'm not gonna stop singing. I'm not gonna stop posting. There's still so much goodness ahead in the, the journey beyond. I feel hopeful. I feel excited about the future. I'm going to be working on my own original music. Finally, don't go anywhere because it's only gonna get better from here. Most importantly, I wanna say thank you so much to each and every one of you. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you so much for every single comment and like and share. Thank you for being involved. Thank you for listening. It means the world to me and I truly could not do what I do if it wasn't for you guys. So thank you so much. Until next time, go out there and be nice and be a light. I'll see ya.